Okay. Well, my name is Lin Zhou. I come from Beijing, China. And the reason I come to the U.S. is because、um, my parents-in-law they applied the green card for my husband and me, so we come together. When I met him, I was a product manager in a Singapore company, and he was、uh, responsible for、uh, customer support as an IT professional. So I was do doing a lot of computer work, sales, marketing job in、um, Chinese computer companies in Beijing. Well, I consider I'm a very lucky person. I didn't really knew or planned to come to the U.S. until we get very、uh, close to married. I found out his parents already applied the green card for him, so we had to go to Guangzhou, a different city, to have an interview with the consulate, and that's where we got our visa to come to、uh, San Francisco first.、Um, because I didn't really. Prepare to come to the U.S. The process now I consider is very easy for me, but not easy for my husband because he was in China for ten years by himself. His parents were here. He tried to come here as a student, or come to visit his family, or、um, come to work. He got job offers. He got accepted by universities, but.、Uh, He was told, "No, just wait for your green card." So he waited for ten years. But I was lucky; I didn't really wait. I come with him. So when I first come to the country, that's about twenty-two years ago. I couldn't speak English. As I mentioned, I didn't expect to come to the U.S. So I didn't really prepare for this new life.、Um, because I couldn't speak English, I went to Lake Washington、uh, Institute of Technology. To become an ESL student there, and、uh, when I was there, my goal was improve my English and then go back to the business world. So while I was there, I got a lot of support. I had advisors ask me to continue to enroll in a program. I did. I enrolled in the computer network、uh, support program, and after I did that, the college had an opening. So I applied. I become a classified employee to do computer support work, and that's where I started working in higher education. But again, I didn't really knew I would stay in higher in higher education for this long time. But when I started to get a promotion at that college, I become a manager of a branch campus. Then I become an、uh, associate dean of extended learning. I was able to、um, working with many many students, and that make me feel education is is a passion I didn't discovered before. And、uh, as an immigrant, I felt I always need help from others. But when students come to me. Saying Lin, because of your support, now I'm going to graduate and I already have a job. That that kind of fulfillment just make me so happy, and、um, that just made me make made me to make this decision. I want to stay in higher education because I want to help others. So that's the time when I started my PhD program. Tacoma is an interesting and a very beautiful city. But the reason I come here is because of of job. I used to work in Kirkland at a technical college called Lake Washington Institute Institute of Technology, and I learned there is、um, opening at Bates Technical College. I come for an interview and I got a job. I started there that that is ten years ago. So it's been ten years. I have been in Tacoma and working for Bates Technical College. So ten、um, years ago, I became dean of instruction at our South Campus. I was responsible for child studies, apprenticeship, and the continuing education programs. Then I was moved to downtown campus, started a different set of programs at the downtown. Later, I was asked to move to student services, become executive dean there, and then become vice president of、uh, student services. About five years ago, I became president of Bates Technical College. So, I think language barrier is definitely my my number one because as a salesperson, as a as a person in marketing. I had to talk a lot, but here I couldn't speak any English. So that took me, I I think many many years for me to overcome that kind of challenge. 
Um, so that's number one. Number two basically is uh, friends. I do, I, I do have my parents-in-law, but they are in California. So here in Washington State, it's only my husband and myself. We knew nobody. We had to basically start everything over again. So we used to have lo- a pretty good life you know, uh, back in, in China. But now we are here, and this is our decision. We want to stay here. We want to start over, but very, very beginning. For example, um, I had to understand how to find apartment in the very early time. And uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not shy to share with you when I look at the 2BR and the 2BA, I wasn't understand, I didn't understand what those to be R and to be A means. And I had no friends to ask. Uh, so with all the friends, with all the family, with all the people, we can just go to learning a car, how to drive a car. You know, we couldn't buy a car without um, knowing how to, dr- how to drive it. But where to start? How to learn a car first? Borrow your friend's car to learn how to drive? or buy your own car. So those kind of things were kind of difficult for us to navigate. So um, culturally, a lot of people confused about uh, my look. They always ask me, are you Japanese? Are you Korean? I, and then when I said, I'm, chi- I'm Chinese, they always make the assumption like, are you from Hong Kong? Are you from Taiwan? You know, it doesn't really bother me. It's, it's okay. Um, but I, I do experience people saying, well, you wouldn't understand because this is America or, you know, and I, I hear this from different people. They would say, well, you wouldn't understand anyway. Yes, I always tell people, yes, I may not understand. That's why I ask. I'm a lifelong learner. And uh, even today as a president, I tell people I don't know anything. I mean, I don't know everything. So if I don't know, I wouldn't hide. I wouldn't pretend. I would ask you. But the people sometimes they just make the, you know, assumption or jump to the uh, jump to the conclusion. They do that. They do not want to give you the opportunity. Um, I think that sometimes I I feel it's really sad when people do that. Um, sure. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, again before I come to Tacoma, mm-hmm. I didn't realize there is a, a, a park dedicated to the from the sister city and this Chinese reconciliation project Mm -hmm. really make me proud. And uh, uh, I think that's a good sign, especially um, for Chinese Americans. We know we got support from this community, from the city of Tacoma, which is so uh, rare to see many places. So um, I really appreciate, again, the city of Tacoma, the community around the Pierce County, I think, by supporting Chinese American with this park and this project. Well, you know, immigrants are not just coming here taking anyone's job. It took me 22 years to become college president and uh, because I work really, really hard, because I'm capable to do this job. It's not because somebody just like me or throw the job to me. Yes, I did get the the job as a point, uh, appointed, but I work very, very hard to be competent in this role. And uh, for the years I've been with the, the college, our name has been, you know, go to the nation. Uh, I mean, just do, we have done a lot of good work. So number one thing, I, I think there are sometimes people talking about, uh, yeah, immigrants just come to grab our jobs, which is not true. And then two is, I, I believe a lot of immigrants, we come to this country, we want to um, learn everything about you, and I, we want them. I, we want people also learn from us as well. I think once we know each other a little better, the communication will be smoother, and we will be able to understand why sometimes people are doing things a little differently. I think that will create a more um, welcoming environment for everybody. Um, And also just recognize it is okay if we do not understand the immigrants' background or culture, just ask. I'm sure everybody would love to share their experience and stories with others. Well, I think one way I have done is to help my students 
to get the quality training from base technical colleges, the wonderful faculty and the staff, and uh, uh, we prepare the workforce for the industry and for our community. I'm very, very uh, proud of my faculty, myself, our staff's work at the base technical college, and uh, we are one of the very important uh, part in the city of Tacoma. If you ask anyone here, you probably find out either their base graduates or their friends, their family members come to base to once in a one, maybe once in their lifetime. So I'm very proud of the work we do, and uh, you know, I, I I love my job so much. I wanted to use my personal experience to understand all my students' struggles and the challenges they face, so we can prepare them better to serve them better. So um, just be humble and also uh, keep learning. I always encourage everybody, keep learning. And if you don't know, ask. Um, I, I found out people here very, very friendly. They, you know, yes, we all have, I mean, who doesn't have some people being rude or whatever, but overall, uh, we have, there are a lot of opportunities for everyone, especially for immigrants. I consider myself as a very successful story, not only for immigrants, but for everybody. The reason I'm saying is because I got so many opportunities in this country and uh, uh, in Tacoma, I was welcomed by many organizations, by many uh, leaders in this community. Uh, so um, as a new immigrant or immigrants who, ha who have been here for many years, involved with the community work and uh, try to make friends and be, uh, be you know, um, curiosity, asking questions, uh, be part of the community. That's how we can contribute and continue to contribute to this community.